Hey, what's up everyone? This is Seagood. Thanks for joining in because I'm going to do an album review of the sickest, most badass current screamo band called Infant Island with their new album, Obsidian Reef. All I have to say are great things about this album, nothing but positive feedback. So there are no pros and cons, and I am pretty much gonna hide the shit out of this album and the band. So this album, Obsidian Wreath, was released January 12th, 2024. It hasn't been a week yet, and I'm already loving the shit out of this album. Infant Island is originated from Virginia that started up in 2016. I believe they have three LPs now with an EP and their last album, Beneath, which was released in 2020 and was fucking obliterating. With their sounds of black metal, grindcore, screamo, hardcore, and ambient drum blended well for that album. And Beneath was my number seventh ranked album for my best albums of 2020. Going into this new album, Obsidian Wreath, the genres I hear are screamo, post rock, black gaze, and damn, it fucking sounds mighty all together. When it comes to similar sounds of bands with vocals and instrumentation, I hear bands like Grubbody with their album Brief Memoriam, early years of the number 12 Looks Like You, and also early era of Fear Before the March of Flames. Those screaming vocal styles definitely compared to bands with intense grasping for air as they sound exhausting to finish their sentence. The guitars and bass create a sound like the Panopticon album that is the rhyme of memory, and this would destroy you with their wall of sound of post-rock shoegaze from their album, Another Language. And also more screamo bands like Ashra with their album, Disaster, and the kings of screamo, Satia. Everything sounds very melodic, and at times there are a great buildup, which sounds like post-rock in a very heavy atmospheric tone. This album is very abrasive, passionate, dramatic, and cathartic. There is a metallic edge to this album with explosive instrumentation and intense rapid drumming. Also, the drums sound primal with loud pounding and fast blast beats. Definitely, you can hear a lot of post war tones in the guitarists, like the bands I mentioned earlier. I feel like this loud screamer album matches up great with the album cover artwork. It looks like an indigenous native form of creation which looks similar to album covers of the band Me Without You. Some of my favorite tracks are with Shadows, Unrelenting, Another Psycho, and Vestigian. Honestly, this whole album is badass. I think it's a masterpiece to my ears. For sure, this album is more aggressive and faster than the last album. All right, well, that's it for me. If you haven't heard this album yet, go ahead and experience yourself. I'm excited to see how much this album is going to impact this year since we are early within 2024. I hope you enjoyed this album review and please let me know what you think of the album by commenting below. Or if there are any other Screamo bands dropping new music that you're looking forward to hearing for 2024, just be sure to share that with me. I will see you next time. Take care, be safe, peace out, and Screamo forever.